Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you how you can easily create your own contract in HoneyBook. But right before we go there, what you can do is click on the link down below in the description to get a 20% off with HoneyBook using my link and uh, maybe in the future it will be even more. So right now it's 20% for the one year and you can claim the discount. Claim the discount so you're going to have HoneyBook much much cheaper. So when you're going to have it, uh, you will end up right here in HoneyBook and you want to click on a project. Here you want to click create your next project. And uh, if you don't have it, but if you already have project, click on it. And then go to top, top right, create new and click contract. Here I can click here blank contract or you can simply choose templates. That's like up to you. You can even click here templates gallery. I'm going to click here blank contract. And I'm going to show you how you can actually use it. So to actually edit it and what is the options here. So what you can do is to always click plus here and edit sections by adding a blocks. So you can add a text, questions, image, video, divider, company info, layout. You can also directly for the contract add an invoice and pay and send it to your client. So that's all how we can add here stuff. Uh, then you can have the contract is ready for review and signature. If you have any questions, just ask. You can always edit the blocks and delete those, let's say. Uh, but the most fun part, this is just like the playing around editing with the design. You can come here and find the contract. So in a contract, you're gonna, you can come here and edit the text. You can paste your own text to it. So let's say you can change the font size, you can make it bold, italic, font background color, and the basic changes, how we can change your uh, contract form, how it looks like. Now you can always click here on a template gallery and find here all the templates that you can use for contracts. So if you want to get inspiration here from something, you can click on it and then use it. And uh, that's something you can do. Now, when you're going to be right here, I want to also show you how we can easily edit the contract. So to edit the contract, uh, you can click on the signatures that you have here. Okay, assign to and assign to. Pretty simple, pretty easily. This, this is my client that I have here. But what you can do is to add a next field. To add a smart field, you need to go to the right side when you're going to click on uh, the contract here and you're going to insert smart field. When you're going to insert smart field, you can always see where you want to actually insert it. You can play around with it. I can like feel when you were born. And then on the right side, you can uh, field content types. Use this option so you can auto fill a field based on the existing information that you have. So you can use that and directly add it there or you can have like client permission what they need to do if they it's a must fill or can edit and then you can have the client name. So placeholder text can be I don't know Marcus right and you can see right here uh, it's going to have directly the placeholder text for the client name. Or I can click here, first client name. On the top right, you can always view it how it looks like. And they can always like uh, edit those, right? First client, first name, and they can add here, let's say Marcus. It's going to automatically edit for them, but they can edit those. Then you can also see how the signing works. When someone to click on the sign, next to the type, they're gonna have draw and they can easily draw. So that's something they can actually do. And that's how simple it is. So I'm going to exit the preview. So that's how we can add multiple new smart fields. I can add a different one here. And always when you're going to have it, it's going to create a smart field for you, right? When do you want to write? 
and you can always choose what is going to actually happen in that one smart field. So I have like smart field here and I can have like must field. And then I can like suggested things what they need to actually add there. Project type. Then I can have here client first initials. Project date. So all of that you can add the smart fields. I really recommend I like, get some inspiration from uh, the templates. But it really depends what do you need in your contract. You can always paste it. And when we look here on the template gallery. Like look how it's look how it looks in here. I have the contract here. An independent contractor. And you see right here what they have here. See company address, company address. And you can really, really edit everything. So when we go further, the next thing, what you need to do is go to top right and then you can send the test to yourself to actually see how it looks like. That's something that I definitely recommend to do to first test it and then send it to client. And then on the top right, you can easily share it. So you're going to share it with your client that you have. You can also add more participants and then you're going to have the subject here. And then you can add a logo button and also add email templates. So that's pretty much how it works. Now, if you're going to have any questions, let me down below in the comments. I'll really happy to help you. Then on the bottom right, you would just easily send it and definitely check the discount code down below in the description. And it's how we can easily create contracts in HoneyBook. So thank you and have a great day and goodbye.